Hey, happy Monday. Live, extra, bonus, count your stitches live. I'm opening a ginger ale, not anything else. Um, bonus live this week. So excited. Hello, everybody. We're doing a St. Patrick's Day craft tonight. Look at this little shamrock we're going to be using. How cute is that? Do a little kind of shelf sitter. St. Patrick's Day craft. Super excited about this one, guys. I'm Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Hello, lovelies. How we doing? Hello, hello. Say hey when you're hopping on. We're going to do a St. Patrick's Day craft tonight. Um, again, check how cute this St. Pat, this little, um, this little shamrock we're going to use, guys. We don't even have to paint it, like, and it already has raffia glued on. How awesome is this? Hi, Laura. Um, so we are moving and grooving, doing a bonus live this week. I am so excited about this. So hello, everybody. Let's get going. Let's hop right into this St. Patrick's Day craft. So we're going to be using, um, hi, mom. We're going to be using this little um, shamrock here. It's a nice, thick kind of wood cutout. I'll show you how I got it in a minute. We're going to be using um, these little tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree, right? They're like fake Jenga. I said they're a Dollar Tree version of Jenga. They're much smaller and skinnier, um, but they're great for what we're going to use them for tonight. So we have a bunch of those, and then we're going to use one of those canvases again. I had gotten a bunch of canvases, um, and so now we're going to start, we're starting to use them, right? So we're going to jump right into this, everybody. I'm going to grab my utility knife. Be very careful when you use one of these. Um, we're going to do the reverse canvas. Hi, Kelly. Oh, I gotta. I need to be able to see things, everybody. I need to get, there we go. Hi, Kelly. Um, so grabbing my canvas from the Dollar Tree, 8 by 10, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut... Um, on the outside of these staples, we're going to separate the canvas from the frame. We're going to do the reverse canvas because inside is this beautiful wooden frame that we can paint. And then we're going to do a cute little St. Patrick's Day craft with it and make it a little shelf sitter. All right. So happy Monday, friends. How are we? What is going on? Talk to me. I am excited to be here. Um, I love crafting, guys. So you know what? Why not do it more than once a week, right? We've got the stuff we've got. We want to hang out. So let's just do it. You know, um, so excited to be here with y'all tonight. It was Monday. It, it's a Monday, huh? Like it's it was a it was a day. How was everyone's Monday? Tell me about it. Mine was mine was good. Actually, I didn't have too many zooms today. I feel like normally and people who talk to me often, they hear me say this. I feel like if I have less than four Zoom meetings a day, it's like a good day, <laughs> which I know just sounds absolutely crazy. Um, but I just feel like some jobs have a lot of Zooms um, and some jobs like my husband's job. He does not he does not Zoom very often. Um, me, I Zoom all the darn tootin time. Uh, and it's just the nature of different jobs. But today, shockingly, I had one call. I was like, where the rest of my calls at? You know what I'm saying? Kelly, you had a long day. Yeah, I hear you. And I feel like like last week felt like a week of Mondays. It was like a Monday of a Tuesday and a Monday of a Wednesday and a Monday of, yeah. Hopefully this week is not so much. What are people up to? Are they, are you working from home? Are you working in person? Um, I work in person the majority of the time. I can work from home sometimes if I want. Um, so I kind of mix it up. But what are y'all doing? Are you home, working from home? Are you working in the office? What are you doing? What's up? Laura, are you still um, remote? Are the kids still remote? Slash, is that like happening for a long time? Come on. I'm just cutting off this canvas, guys. Want to do reverse canvas. This would also be super cute. Um... Like Dollar Tree has those already like pre-made cute decorations. Um, hi, Liz. Kelly, work from home. Do you like working from home? Um, those of you who do work from home. Um, but yeah, so Dollar Tree has like those cute little pre-made decorations that are they're kind of an inlet. They have like the, you know, the wood border and then an inset. So that's really nice. 
Um, that would work well for this too, but I like doing the reverse canvas. I like the look of the canvas. It's kind of pretty. Kids are back in groups and you're teaching virtually. All right, you told me that, Laura. I'm sorry. Oh, and Laura, I forgot to text you about tomorrow night with Stonehill. Did you get the Monday morning update this morning from the from school the school? Because it was in that too. Um, so sorry. I just realized I forgot to text you. Oh, okay, Laura. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The day A, day, a, day B, like you switch off when the kids go back. Um, you love working from home, Kelly? Yeah. Um, Laura loves... Wait, Laura, do you love working from home or are you saying yes to the thing to, you're saying yes, you're saying yes, Laura, to the, the Stonehill thing, right? And, and Kelly is saying yes to loving working at home. Um, oh yes, Laura, you have a game. Good luck. That's awesome though. Good luck to the girls. That's awesome. I hope they have fun. Guys, this is taking way longer than it's supposed to. I'm so sorry. I was like, this is going to be a short one because this is an easy thing, except this doesn't want to cut off for me. Goodness gracious. Good thing we have plenty to talk about. Um, yeah, good luck, Laura. Have fun. Oh, so Kelly, working from home is like your thing, huh? My husband loves working from home too. I have to say, when we first started working from home, I didn't love it. Um, now that I have more of like a, a groove on how to do it, I don't mind it as much. Um, I definitely can do it. I definitely can do it. And we um, we finally got a new router this weekend. Anybody else having like internet issues? So we finally got a new router this weekend. Guys, be careful when you do this at home. This is getting a little cray. Uh, we finally got a new router. So like we have internet again. Thank God. <laughs> it was rough. We would We would like zoom in this room, which is where... The router is like literally right behind me and it would be like, it would, I'd get, I'd have a call dropped with the router in the room. It was a struggle. Hi, April. Oh my gosh. We got new friends. This is so exciting. Hi, April. Hi, Kristen. Yay. Welcome. We're just doing a St. Patrick's Day craft. Little bonus Monday night live. Um, just cause, just cause, right? I mean, what else are we? You know, it's Monday night. It was chilling, so we're going to craft, right? This is awesome. Oh, hi, Dan. <laughs> Dan, who knew you'd be watching crafts, right? This is your thing, I'm sure. <laughs> Dan's like, let me go get my canvas. I'm going to do a reverse canvas. Oh. Kristen, you work from home, too. So, yeah, who's liking working from home? Who prefers being at work? Um, all right, so I cut this off. It took like 10 minutes, but we got there, guys. Hi, Aunt Sandra. Um, so, all right, and now I have to pull all of this off. And, of course, it's like not going to cooperate. This is not my night for reverse canvas stuff, guys. Ay Dios mio. Guys, I'm not using my Ay Dios mio cup tonight. Hi, Yvonne. Um, I'm drinking a ginger ale. Sounded like I cracked a beer at the beginning of this, and but it's a ginger ale. Ugh, I love ginger ale. Tell me what your favorite sodas are if you drink soda. We drink, um, we all drink, we drink diet soda, but I love ginger ale and diet coke. Um, all right, just ripping this up. I am not gonna spend the time to rip the staples out. That is, if this canvas is hardly coming off, Lord knows the staples ain't coming out. If you use, so I've done this, oh gosh, guys, my frame is like falling apart. So, Dollar Tree frame, right guys? Um, so, Oh, Liz, Nathan. Oh, oh, Liz. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Nicholas. How are you? I hope you love your Yodas. Your pictures are so cute that your mom sent me. Oh, I'm so excited. So many friends. Ginger ale and Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. My dad's a Dr. Pepper fan. I'm not so much. Um, but their commercials are super funny. I don't drink soda, but I do like ginger ale. Yeah, a lot of people don't drink soda. I know it's like, I don't know. I know it's like not a thing for everybody, but we like it. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to cut this, guys, to size. Um, I can't decide what color I want to paint the background on this. So this is the piece we're going to put on it. So we're going to glue the canvas on and then like glue this in the corner. Um, and I can't decide what color I want to paint the white canvas or leave it white. I mean, I would paint it. I'm so excited they love their Yodas, Liz. Their pictures were so cute. Um, ooh, excuse me. Now I'm burping from the ginger ale. This is great live. Oh, hi, Jen. Um, but so, um, I, 
yeah, so I don't know what color I want to paint the background yet, but I, I will paint it no matter what because I don't really like the color of the canvas. So if I want it white, I'll paint it white. Um, but yeah, so what's everybody up to tonight? What's good on TV? Um, oh, y'all. So y'all, like I'm from the South. Um, I Guys, I have like so much energy for a Monday night. This is so weird. Um, I think I'm just pumped. We have so many friends watching tonight. Um, maybe I should go live on Monday more often. <laughs> um, so my, you know, I was telling y'all last night that my mom, my mom watched the, the Megan and Harry on Oprah thing last night. So I saw, you know, obviously like articles beyond belief today. Um, and man, that just sounded rough. Did anybody else watch it or, um, or read about it later? Um, man, you know, it's like. You always think that, like, life's always greener. Like, the grass. Life is always greener, right? Okay. The grass. This is what happens when I try to get, like, you know, touching and it doesn't work. Um, everybody always thinks that the grass is always greener on the other side, right? And, like, you know, you want to be a royal. I'm having a piece of hair that's having a moment. And you want to be a royal. And, like, it's so cool and all that. And, like, just think of how difficult it sounded for them. Um, and I'm sure, you know, there's always three sides to every story, right? Um, but... Still, goodness, um, you just feel blessed for the wonderful life we have, right? Right? Count your blessings and count your stitches. We're not done yet, though. Um, what are we watching? What are we watching? We're watching sports. What sports are we watching? Laura's watching UConn's women's basketball. Oh, Big East. Yes. We always root for UConn, right? Go Huskies. All right. What do we do first? We're going to paint the back of this. Guys, I don't know what color to paint it. Um, oh, we need to paint the frame, too. Hello. Yeah, man, Bethany is all over the place tonight. I'm going to put my trash over there. I got my heat gun. Way too structured. I'd never make it as royal. Me either. Never. Baseball replay. Oh, that's cool, Jen. Um, I would never make it as a royal. I barely make it as a regular person. <laughs> oh, we, um, we went to job lot tonight to get some things. And um, we go there often so they know us, obviously, right? Because that's just our life. And um, so they're talking to us or whatever. And um, uh, Bob had to go get the car because we got something big. And I so I stayed and the woman was like, oh, I'll protect her, you know, like as a joke. And I'm like, oh, don't worry. Like, you don't need to protect me. Um, I talk too much. Like a kidnapper would give me right back. And they all laughed. And they're like, no way. Like, he talks more than you. And I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> Because I was like, I grew up with a dad that told me a kidnapper would always give me back because I talk too much. And now I've got a husband who says the same thing. So I just thought it was hilarious that they thought I talked more. Thank you, April. We went um went over the summer to P-Town. It's really fun. Thank you. Um, But yeah, so I thought that was a really funny story tonight. That So I would never make it um in a royal family. No. Plus, you have to give up all your social media. And guys... This is this is us, right? We hang. So can't be doing that. I don't use my Facebook for like anything else other than count your stitches. Um, the people who are friends with me are probably totally sick of it. Oh, all right. What do we think? I think I'm going to paint it beige. What do you think? So if we paint it beige, right? So it would be beige behind. Can you see that? The light's a little harsh. That's a little harsh. The, we're going to chill, bro. Chill with the, there we go. If we paint it beige, right? And then this will sit on top of it. And then we'll stain, again, this piece of hair is like having its moment. What is happening? Um, And then we'll stain both the tumbling blocks and the wood frame. So it'll be like brown, put a lot of brown tones instead of like a harsh white. Because this is beige, right? The raffia and the sanded edges, you know, so we'll go beige. We'll go for it. We'll go for it, peeps. All right. Minimal painting tonight. We love that. Okay. Again, I'm having trouble with this. This is bothering me. Oh, um, did I get the Jennifer? I just saw it right before I went on live. Um, so I'm going to take it. Was it a pulled pork recipe? Um, guys, we were, if you weren't here yesterday, we were exchanging, um, like different, we were talking crock pot, um, recipes and such. So, if you have any good recipes, share them. Oh, excuse me again. 
All right. Well, this is going to be nice and easy, guys. Just painting our background. Whew. Yeah, so we, we had a ton of errands to run right when I got home from work today that I got home and I'm like, I am not going to have time to make dinner. Like, it's just not going to be a thing tonight. And I didn't want to stress because I really wanted to go live with everybody. Um, so total guilty pleasure indulge. We got KFC. Uh <laughs> We've been talking about it for, I mean, literally like months getting KFC. And finally, I said to Bob, I'm like, why don't you just get KFC? Because I'm just, dinner's not going to happen. So we got KFC and it was delish. Um, although I'm not very good at eating meat on a bone. I'm, I mean, I do, I eat it now. I grew up, tell me if anybody else is like this. So I grew up, um, my dad is like this and I'm like this. We didn't eat meat on a bone. It freaked me out. Um... Dan, I'm sure you remember this. If you're still watching, like when we were when we were in high school and stuff, and your mom would make those like awesome ribs, and Matt would take them off the bone for me. <laughs> like I just couldn't do it. Um, yes, Kelly, love KFC, but Bob, my mother loves meat on the bone too, so she never understood my father and I. Um, and so Bob loves meat on the bone. My mom does. So you know, ever since I've been with Bob, I've been like slowly getting into it, right? So I, I eat meat on a bone. Now, I even make chicken wings, and I make really good chicken wings. Um, and they're keto chicken wings. Fun fact. He is laughing. He says he remembers. Yeah, right? Um, but I eat meat on a bone now, guys. But sometimes it's, like, too much. So I had a couple of pieces of KFC chicken, and then I was like, I'm good. I really, I can't do any more. Like, that was enough, you know? All right, so we're just drying up. Our canvas, it's all nice and beige. We're not even going to need a second coat. Check it out. That's a nice color. I think that'll look good against that. It'll be a nice backdrop. And again, it's something different, like other than the stinking, um, we do everything like white, right? So something different. Um, I'm going to set this aside and let it just like totally, I got paint on my arm. Let it totally dry. I'm going to grab my Waverly Antique Wax. We love this, right guys? Gives you the look of stain without having to use all the chemicals. I don't own any stain. The only stain I have is the stain that the contractor left from last summer when we did our kitchen. And it's in the basement. Uh, <laughs> so I don't do stain, I just don't like it. Um, unless it's a necessity. So um, I'm just gonna grab, oh, that paintbrush is really rough. That's okay. Um, I guess I buy new paintbrushes and then they're like gone in 10 seconds. Um, so, yeah, I prefer, before I have the antique wax, um, I also just use watered down um, brown paint. That makes a really nice stained look on wood. And then also, um, if you apply brown paint with a baby wipe um, or any color paint, you can kind of make into a stain. If you apply it with a baby wipe, it makes, it's really cool. Um, okay, it'd be nice if I put this where I'm not gonna hit the light whilst doing it, so. Oh, so we're just going to, you know, quote unquote, stain this. And of course, I forgot the paper towels again, guys. I always forget something. And Bob's watching wrestling. He's downstairs. So we're not going to, we're not going to yell to get it, have him get something for us. Sometimes we do. Right? Everybody knows that. Sometimes we yell for Bob. Sometimes he makes an appearance. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Amy's not here. She has a meeting. But um, y'all know, you know, y'all who are here a lot know Amy. And um, she always jokes, she was texting me today, that whenever Bob like comes on or whatever, she waves <laughs> like he can see her. Um, but I mean, I feel the same way. Like I always, when, you know, I'm like, oh, it's so good to see you. And then I'm like, oh, but I can't actually see you. Um, which is a super bummer. Tomorrow night, and I think I mentioned this the other night, I'm doing a, like a Zoom craft tutorial with the college I graduated from. And I'm pumped because it's Zoom. So I'll actually be able to see people. Um, so I'm really excited about that opportunity. That should be a lot of fun. Oh, this is a pain in the butt. I can't stand frames. Why do I pick frames to do, guys? It's a pain in the butt. I'm not going to worry about the back, guys. We're doing it. This is just fun. This is for home, right? This is just hanging on a Monday night, painting a Dollar Tree frame that we got out, out of a, that we got out of a reverse canvas. What a cool trick though, huh guys? To take the um, the canvas off the back of the frame. And I have to tell you, if you use a frame from, hi Auntie Kim. 
if you use a frame from um, like Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or something like that, um, it it's a much better quality frame, so it comes apart a lot nicer. Uh, are you teaching a craft to the Stonehill kids? I am teaching a craft to Stonehill alums. Um, so any alum could sign up. And um, I gave them a supply list and we're making, oh, I think I have it hanging up. I'll show you what we're gonna make. We're making this tomorrow night. Um, it's all Dollar Tree, um, super inexpensive. So we're gonna make this tonight. This is a placemat. This is a pizza pan. Um, not that I'm like giving away all my secrets here, guys, but I am. Everything here is pretty much from the, actually it's all from the Dollar Tree. That's like the theme of the craft. Um, so we're making that tomorrow night. I have a different placemat to use for it tomorrow night, but I'm very excited. Auntie Kim, you're multitasking, watching The Voice and me. Thanks. Any good talent? Well, there's always good talent. Thank you, April. Um, any, any real good people on The Voice, Auntie? All right, we're just gonna keep paint, keep staining away. So you can see guys, it's not a solid paint, right? It's a wax, so it's more like a stain. You're technically supposed to wipe it off, but again, we forgot the paper towels, so we're not gonna worry about it. What does it say? What does what say, mom? The, um, the craft that we're making tomorrow? Is that what you're asking? Oh, good, auntie. I haven't watched The Voice. You know, I haven't watched The Voice since Billy Gilman was on it, right? Mom and I love Billy Gilman. We we go to Billy Gilman often. Last summer he did a concert at the at a drive-in down at Musquamacut in Westerly. Oh, loved it. I haven't watched it. So I haven't watched it since him. I definitely could have sanded this first, guys. Side note, sand this first. Oops. Yes, the craft says. It says, let me read to y'all. Live every moment with joy and laughter. And the one that I'm using, the placemat I'm using tomorrow night um, to make my second one, because that was like the sample to show everybody. The one I'm making, I think it says always stay humble and kind, which I had made my own sign with a Cricut cutout that said always stay humble and kind, um, but I'm gonna use a placemat. And what's nice too is the placemat adds some depth to it because it's a little bit thicker than if just using scrapbook paper or just paint or whatever. Um, and you don't have to worry about painting as much of the pizza pan because sometimes the pizza pan uh, does not paint as well. It's metal, so it's difficult to paint. So if you only have to worry about painting the edges, you're a little bit better off. That was kind of my goal. Thanks, Mom. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, so I haven't watched The Voice in forever. Did I ever tell you all, though? Some of you may know this about me, but I auditioned for The Voice once. Um, gosh, I forget how long ago that was. 2000... Yes, always stay humble and kind to Tim McGraw song. Yes, I always think of that. Always stay humble and kind. Well, that was really off. Wow, and I sing. This is why we didn't make the voice, right, guys? Um, gosh, but years ago, I forget when, I auditioned for the voice. My dad and I went to New York City um, in that big, oh, what's that convention center? Javit, Jar, something like that. Um, we got up super early, went... And oh, and let me so let me tell you what happened, right? So you register online and then you go super early to line up. No one else can line up with you. So my dad walked me there and then that was it. Um, and we all stood in line outside in the middle of January in the morning, in the dark. It was great. Um, and you, you make friends, right? And you're all just kind of hang. And then they heard you inside literally like animals. Um, Lord knows they can't do it this way, this way anymore, huh? And um, Jacob Javits Center. Thank you, Mom. So we all were herded inside there. Um, so this is our frame, guys. All stained. And now we'll stain our little blocks. Um, and I'll show you what we're going to make. with. Actually, you know what? We're going to glue this together first. Um, so they herded us inside the Jacob Javits Center. We went through like 15 rounds of security. And so let me tell you, I didn't, I didn't know how long we were going to be there. And, you know, me being the good crafter, crocheter that I am, I brought crocheting to do while I waited. And we also took the bus down. So, um, so I had my crocheting with me and 
I had my crochet, I, I have like a little, I, at the time I had a little bucket of crochet needles. And my crochet needles that I have are from my great grandmother, they're from my mother, they're from my great aunt. Um, so I love my crochet hooks. Um, and I've since gotten some new ones, that way I don't use the old ones as much to, you know, make sure that they stay nice. Um, so I had that with me, but it has a little pair of scissors that I use for crafting. I'm just waiting for the glue gun to warm up, guys. And so they searched my backpack, you know, because it was security, and they took out my little crochet bucket. And they saw the scissors, and they're like, we're going to have to take this whole bucket. And I was like, that was not going to be an option because it had everybody's crochet hooks in it. I said, if I take the scissors out, can I have my bucket back, please? And they were like, um, sure. <laughs> so I took the bucket. I took the scissors out. I gave them the scissors, and I took my bucket back. Um, they were, I think they were just so confused that like, that's all I said, like that I came up with like a solution um, that they let me do it. So I kept my crochet hooks. And then um, mom and I went to Joanne's when we came home and got me some new scissors. <laughs> um, but I was like, this is not happening. So after they herded us through all the layers of um, security. So guys, I'm just going to take the jumb tumble in blocks and um, put them together like this. Okay. And I'm doing five across and two rows of five. Okay, um, so after that, we sat for a few, like for a few hours waiting. We stood for a few hours waiting. And finally, they had us in lines to go into the different rooms of the convention center. And there were probably like 15 of us that got carted into a room. And we each just, we all sat in a seat in kind of a, like a semicircle. And we each had a chance to go into the middle and sing. So we each did that. And meanwhile, you can hear everybody around you in the other room singing too. One girl was like cranking Whitney like it was her business. You thought Whitney was next door. She was amazing. Um, now, mind you, we went on a, I went on the Sunday auditions. Okay, I just want to throw that out there. So there were people in my room who killed it. Now, I mean, I sang Whitney. I think I did okay. Not as good as the girl next door. Um, but there were people in my room who killed it, like super talented. And this was the first round. And literally, we all sang, and then the person looked at all of us and just said, thank you so much. None of you made it. Have a great day. And that was it. And we literally walked out, and there were all these other people walking out of their rooms, too, and no one made it. And I don't know. A lot of us thought maybe um, because it, they had Saturday and Sunday auditions, maybe they had already taken enough on Saturday. I don't know. Um, and then that was it. And we were done. Um, it was just kind of surreal. Like, that was it. You didn't make it. The end. Goodbye. Um, but it was definitely a really neat experience, really fun. Very grateful for my daddy -o for taking me. Um, and my mom planning the whole trip for us. Um, but yeah, that was it. Like super uneventful. But I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to say I auditioned for The Voice. Um, and I was teaching at the time. And so I was able to tell my students that I auditioned for The Voice. I put my wax away. So now they're all glued together, guys. We've got two of five. Okay. Um, so I was able to tell my students that I auditioned and they thought that was super cool. I was a music teacher at the time, so they thought that was really neat. Um, but yeah, so that's my, my little voice story. I didn't get anywhere, but I tried, right? I tried. <laughs> oh. Has anybody else ever tried out for the voice or anything? Thanks, Kelly. I'm always thinking, like, I don't know how I don't, like, start singing on this page all the time. I feel like all I ever do is sing. Although not as much lately. Um, I'm sure those of you who are singers cannot, I mean, music is, like, not a thing right now. And it's really difficult. Um, there's not a whole lot of singing happening. So, you know, you make do, right? All right, I will paint the, I need to paint the back of this, too. So what I'm going to do with these you guys are probably like, what on earth is she gluing Jenga blocks or fake Jenga blocks together for? Um, so I'm going to make this like a stand. No, well, not like a stand. I'm going to make this a stand um, for the piece. I don't want it. I want it to be a shelf sitter, but I want it to be able to stand on its own. I don't want to have to worry about having it lean on something. <laughs> Liz, you're funny. I'm tone deaf, so no. Jennifer, you guys are funny. Oh, my goodness. I always say the Lord blesses us all with different gifts and talents. 
That's what I always say. There are so many things that I wish I could do. Um, but it is what it is, right? We all have our things. Um, it's so funny. So I was saying how I'm going to use this like a stand, but I'm going to use it as a stand. Anybody else still struggling with the word like? I, I don't know how to get rid of saying it. I don't think I'm quite as bad as the, you know, like, oh my God, like this, like that, you know, but, um, I don't know. Maybe I am. Y'all listen to me talk to myself for an hour a week. So tell me if I am that bad with the likes. <laughs> um, I try not to be, but I don't know. It's one of those things, right? All right. And then we're just going to do the back here and then, so yeah, this will be a stand so that it can literally stand up by itself instead of having to lean against something. I, I prefer that because not every place that you want to put a decoration has a place to lean it against. Now I can put my wax away. I'm covered. Isn't this great? That's the worst word to get rid of. It's so hard. It's like so hard. I'm just kidding. Um, I know, Liz. It is. It's a tough one. Where am I going with this? Oh, sorry. Auntie Kim. Oh, Auntie Kim, you can sing. Don't even try that. My son can sing, so I guess that's a good thing. Oh, no kidding, Jennifer. That's awesome. Um, where am I going? I never see them at Dollar Tree. Are they in the craft? Are uh, you talking about the Jenga blocks, the tumbling blocks? They are. If you're talking about the tumbling blocks, Kelly, they are in the toy section. They're in the toy section. It took me a few months to find them. Um, I could never find a place that had them. But yes, they are in the toy section and they tend to be on a bottom shelf. Okay. Oh, all right. Let me just dry these bad boys up. And then we will, um, guys, we're almost done. Like this was a super simple, quick one. Hopefully it looks nice. <laughs> we'll have to see. If not, we had fun chatting. <laughs> um, so I'm going to dry these up. And again, if I had had paper towels, I would have wiped these off before and they would have been a little bit of a lighter stain. Um, but they're going to be a little darker stain. Dan's the singer in the family. I'm <laughs> April, you're funny. Oh. Um, April, today, so, and Dan, because you're watching, I think. Um, uh, September came on the radio. Do you remember the 21st night of September? That came on today. And for some reason, it brought me back to whatever it was called, Emerald Club or something, in high school when we did that piece. And I was like, oh, my God, there's the like. And I was thinking, oh, my gosh, why did we ever... Um, but it just made me think of all those silly things we sang. We sang the William Tell Overture once, 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 literally singing like, dun -dun 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 -dun. um, my gosh, my gosh, that was being in choruses growing up is you do strange things. Um, yes, Kelly. So the, it took me a long time and I, wasn't anywhere in my neighborhood when I found them. Um, I was like 45. Oh my God. I was 40. Now I'm going to notice. I was 45 minutes from home when I found these at a Dollar Tree. Oh, we just unglued. Hold on. Um, where are we at? Jennifer said, I was taught that you can take baby wipes. Yes, Jennifer. Yes. So that's, that's something I do all the time is I use a baby wipe. Oh guys, we're coming unglued. Oh, I know why. Because we hit it with the hot glue gun and it heated the hot glue back up. Duh. Duh. All right. We're going to let them dry again, and we're not going to hit them with the hot glue gun. Those are the days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are the days. <laughs> all right. Let's get this going. Um, all right. So I'm going to let that. Oh, man. They're all coming apart because I was silly and hit them with a hot gun. Man. Struggle bus, guys. Please hold. Gluing this back together. Um, but yes, I adore using baby wipes and any color paint on wood to make it look like a stain. Um, we did that a lot around Christmas time. I would use it with the greens and the reds to get a look, but without it being too opaque. Um, oh, they're all coming apart. Guys, this is not my evening. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'll just fix it later. And not a problem, right, guys? We roll with the punches here and count your stitches. It's very, yes, Jennifer, it is really cool. Um, I really like the look of um, 
using paint as stain. Dan is giggling. What what were your chorus people up to back then? Seems like good memories. <laughs> it is good memories. It is very good memories, I have to say. You are right. Um, well, that's like, um, we used to do like district chorus and stuff, right? And all of that kind of stuff is all virtual. All the concerts are virtual right now, which I think is nuts. Um, but I'm really glad the kids still get the chance because that was so much fun to do those big choruses um, with people from outside of your school. And so I'm glad that they still get to do that. Oh my gosh, excuse me, guys. This is so awful. I'm sorry. Um, all right, so I'm going to glue this canvas on. I'm going to glue it one side at a time so that way it does not dry on me too much. Okay, so be careful when you do this because the hot glue does definitely come through the canvas um, a little bit and it's hot. So just be careful. I'm used to it. That or I lick my fingers, you all know. It's gross, but hey, it works. Gets the job done. Dollar Tree has these little, um, like, they're like plastic thimbles um, and they're hot pink. They're fabulous. Um, but I don't like to use them. It's kind of weird. It's kind of the same way that um, I can't use like a glove when I use a, a curling wand or something, or like some type of hot tool for my hair. It feels weird to me to use a glove. Um, so I, it's, I guess it's the same idea. It feels weird to me to use the, the, um, the thimble on my finger. I guess it's less, somehow it's less weird to me to lick my finger. Don't ask, right, guys? This is me. This is where we're at, right? You guys know me by now. We have to record my son singing for chorus. Yeah, Jennifer, that's really interesting. <laughs> I know, this ginger ale, I'm like loving it right now. Well, and you know what's funny? So it used to be called diet ginger ale, and now it's called Canada Dry Zero Sugar. Um, I don't know why we made the change. And I don't know what the difference is. I need one more glue gun. Please hold. Again, guys, I use the um, the Sherbonder glue. Um, can we talk about how quickly I went through this? The Sherbonder, um, I use the value pack from like Joann's, Michael's, whatever. Use your coupon. Never pay full price at those stores, guys. Never. Please do not. Please do not. And think of me. Just think of me like just saying, I Dios mio, right? Just, just think of me saying that. Um, when, when you go to pay full price, okay, it's not an option, guys. Don't do it. You, you use your coupons. You, you wait, you go back the next day. You have someone get something for you. Like, no, you don't pay full price at those stores. They are overpriced even with a coupon. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. I love them though. I love the stores. You just have to learn how to shop them. I don't buy anything full price ever. Ever, ever. I told you about when I went to Lane Bryant a couple weekends ago and the woman's like, you should use your coupon on new stuff because the clearance stuff is all winter. And I'm like, girl, please. I'm like, I got five items off of clearance that are all good for spring and summer. And I got my 20 bucks off. <laughs> like, girl, please. No way. Okay. Woohoo. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All this time just to do this. This. I'm sorry. So I wanted to show you where I got this from, all right? Oh, thank you so much, Kelly. Where I got this from, hi, Barbara. So I, uh, mom and I love the Christmas tree shop and I was at Christmas tree shop and I saw this adorable St. Patrick's Day decoration that had, oh, it goes this way, please hold. That had three shamrocks. And I said to my, and it was $2. And I said to myself, I can rip this apart and make multiple crafts out of them for $2. Absolutely. I know, Laura, the lame, I only have one lame Bryant left. It's like there's one in Plymouth, which is not happening, which um, stinks because I used to work out there. Um, and now I have one left. And I'm like, please, I said to the woman, I'm like, don't close. You can't close. Like, it's just not an option. Um, I mean, they do online, which I, I like-ish. I don't know. But anyway, so I found this and I ripped it apart. So there's some nails there. It was rough, but we got it. We got it ripped apart, and I'll hammer those out later. We're gonna use the one that had the raffia. Hi, Barbara. Barbara, how are you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. All right. So I'm. My plan here is this, guys. I'm just gonna make it super simple. I'm just gonna glue him in the bottom corner. That's it. Just gonna glue him in the bottom corner, 
And then we're going to put his stand on, and he's just going to stand up like that. That's all my plan was. I didn't want to put him in the middle. I don't know. What do you think? Should I put him in the middle? You tell me. Here's, so here's the choices. In the middle or in the bottom corner? Drop a comment. Let me know what you like better. Bottom corner or in the middle? What do you think? What do you think? Hi, Colleen. Thanks for hopping on. Make sure you say hey. Mm. Guys, too, make sure if you're loving this, if you could sprinkle it on your page, I'd so appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Um, and I always forget to say, hello, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. If you are new to us, hi and welcome. Um, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I Gosh, I always forget to say that. And I always say... Um, that, you know, if you're watching it on the replay, please hashtag replay. We love to hear from you always. Um, but yeah, okay. So I'm so sorry. Hi, I'm Bethany. It's good, so good to see y'all. All right, let's see. We've got middle, middle, middle. Um, I know I'm good. Happy. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Um, yes, we need to walk again. Nick says bottom corner, bottom corner. I like both. Okay, I like bottom corner. I'm an off-center kind of person too. April, I'm with you on that. Um, and Nick, yeah, we're going to go with Nick. All right, we're going to go with the little one, okay? Actually, I shouldn't say little one. I don't know how old you are, Nick. Um, <laughs> um, I, we're going to go bottom corner, guys. I like the middle, too. We did the heart on the reverse canvas with the middle. But I think because we're going for this, like, simplistic, rustic look, I'm just, I like this openness. So we're going to go bottom corner, all right? Yeah, and we're going to go bottom to my right. Um, because of the way the shamrock is angled. So, all right, let's get this thing down. A lot of hot glue on this. I'm going to use like the rest of this stick. Okay. And I'm using the edges as guides and putting it right up against it. And then right after this, we'll um, put the stand on and then that'll be it, guys. Oh, this flew. Um... And I know it took forever. Guys, I love this beige on the canvas. It came out really nice. I don't use beige enough. Um, he's the little one. He's eight. Big smile from Nick. Yay, Nick, we did. What do you think, Nick? What do you think? That was a good choice, Nick. I love it. I'm so excited. Oh, so Nick's the one I got the, the picture that he was holding him in the in his uh, in the car yesterday. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So last piece we're going to put on. Oh, thank you, Barbara. We're going to put on our. Okay. So I did two so that it is wider than the base of this. Okay. So I'm going to, I want to glue them together. So we're going to glue them together to start. Just a small dab of glue. I don't want it to seep out. So I'm gonna glue it together. This would be a good time for like clamps or something, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. We're good there. We are glued together. And now I am going to take the bottom of this and I'm just gonna stick some hot glue on it and then just stick it in the center of our stand, all right? Guys, cross your fingers that this works. I just made it up. So we're going to hope it works. We're going to hope it balances. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do it towards you all so you can see. Okay, we're going to hold it down. We're going to hope it works. All right, we're holding it down. We're applying a lot of pressure. I really like this openness up here. I think it's really like minimal, you know, that minimalistic vibe. Thanks, April. Crossing our fingers. Guys, it's standing and it's attached. All right, we did it. Woohoo! All right, I get rid of this ugly piece here. I just use um, paper bags. Everybody gives you paper bags now. So I just use that for my bottoms. Um, Guys, look at how cute this came out. Um, love. We've got like rustic country chic St. Patrick's Day. It worked. Oh, excuse me. This I cannot wait. Oh, excuse me. This I cannot wait to put out. 
And how easy was that? I mean, okay, I know it was a bit of a struggle to do the, um, I know it was a bit of a struggle to do this canvas, <laughs> but it was easy, right? Um, again, like I said, if you get, um, I love when everybody's saying hi to each other. If you use the canvases from Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's, like a better quality one, and you can get them on sale, you can get them in like a two pack and then use a coupon. So they won't end up being much more than a dollar. Um, and they'll be better quality. Your frame will be better quality. It'll come off a lot easier. It won't be as much of a struggle. Um, so if you want to do something just a little bit nicer, you can. I just had this lying around, you know, um, from like a paint night. I got extra canvases or something. So um, you can really do whatever you'd like. But I love this idea of using the canvas and then using those Jenga blocks as a stand. And then boom, you have a freestanding, you know, project here. I just love Oh, so see, Barbara said that Target had the the canvases in the dollar section. So check them out, guys. You, maybe you have a little bit less of a struggle than I had. And again, I got this. Oh, wrong side. I got this as a part of a decoration from Christmas Tree Shop that I ripped apart. Um, I feel like that's all I do when I go shopping now is I just see things. I'm like, how can I use this to make a craft? And then I stuff our home with craft supplies. And I'm surprised Bob hasn't thrown me out yet. Um, it's coming close though. I feel, I feel like I can feel, I feel like it's coming. Uh, so that's another reason I want, I'm like, let me do more lives so I can use up more craft stuff. <laughs> um, I try to keep it nice and organized though. I really do. Um, and if not, I just throw it in the closet and nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so anyway, so this was tonight. Thank you so much for all hopping on. This was so much fun. This was way more fun than I expected. Um, not that it's not always fun, but this was like extra fun because you know what? It was a bonus and there were lots of new friends and thank you. So oh my God, it's like a teacher. Lots of new friends, lots of new um, faces and everybody. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you'll have a wonderful week. I'm going to go put this out um, in my in my kitchen somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. I'm so excited, though. Um, that's the best part about doing this. I automatically have a new decoration for the house unless someone buys it <laughs> and then I don't have it anymore. But there are some that I keep. Um, but yes, so, and it looks like Barbara and Kim, Auntie Kim, we got to get our walks going again. Although I'm going to say that and then I'm going to be like, never mind. Um, <laughs> not that it, but it was so much fun. Um, so, anywho, Liz, I'm so happy to hear that everybody's happy over there. Um, message me if you ever need anything. We do custom. Um, we also sell most of everything we make. So you let me know. Um, I will be back on Sunday night for another live craft, 8 o'clock. Um, I think we might do another St. Patrick's Day, and that'll be that. And then we'll go back into Easter. Um, and like I said, if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, and just, yeah, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.